and of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly King, Paraclete, Spirit of Truth, present everywhere and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come dwell within us and cleanse us of every stain, and, O good one, save our souls. Hi. Uh, today is the Sunday of St. Gregory Palamas, and if I were, if this were a Western feast, and it most certainly is not a Western feast. I'm not even sure he's on the Western calendar, even surreptitiously. Um, if this were a Western feast, we'd call it Gregory Palamasmas. Um, so I like that. Palamasmas. Anyway, um, he's most known for getting into a fight with someone who was schooled in philosophy and a Western spin on philosophy. The, the person's name is Bar-Lam. And um, he, Bar-Lam that is, had come to Greece and discovered that the monks of the Holy Mountain said the Jesus Prayer and claimed that they had encountered God, um, an inner light. And Barlam, schooled in philosophy and Western theology, said, well, actually, we cannot know God at all. God is so beyond us that we cannot know him. And Palamas is known for agreeing with the premise that God is so beyond us and utterly different. But in fact, God is in our world through grace and has made himself knowable to us. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. As our liturgy says, God has manifested himself to our beings in his being, not in his perfect knowing essence, right? And and this is where it, it, it becomes hard for us to, to understand. Uh, but really, anyone who's been married or had a cat knows that it's possible to love something with or someone without actually knowing them. The other person is so completely outside of us, or the other cat in this case, is so completely outside of us that they're an alien. And yet our love and their love for us allows us to share in mutual self-gift. This is one of the things that makes the complementarity of the sexes so obvious men's brains and women's brains are just wired differently. You can say things about cultural construction, but we know that the hormones start in the uterus of the mother, and men's brains function on different wavelengths, on different subjects from women's brains, and knowing the other person becomes an act of faith. I give myself fully to you even though I cannot comprehend who you are in your core being. And we can't comprehend God either. Palamas said, God, the infinitely other, the infinitely loving, the infinitely all-powerful God, bridged that gap for us. This is why he's called, as the homily at, at church this morning said, the preacher of grace, because it is the grace of God that is God, because God is utterly simple. Nothing that God is, is separate from God. God is love. That love is grace. That grace is God's energy acting in the world, and therefore we can know God even though God is completely other and completely unknowable. God can be known because he allows himself to be known. Mm. 
This is the infinite beauty of the God we worship. He is so beyond our comprehension, so beyond our experience, so beyond our knowledge. And yet he makes himself known and experienced and realized so that we can be saved and participate in his life. Glory to God for all things. It is truly meet to bless you, the Theotokos, ever blessed and most blameless and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption you give birth to God the Word. Truly, the Theotokos, we magnify you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mary Palamasmas.